नेक्स्ट इज न्यूरल कंट्रोल सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट न्यूरल कंट्रोल वॉट न्यूरल कंट्रोल आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट विच नर्वस सिस्टम आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम नो पेरिफेरल नर्वस सिस्टम नो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम इन द ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल नो देर आर टू टाइप्स वी हैव द सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम एंड वी हैव द पैरासिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम okay now what does the sympathetic nervous system do sympathetic nervous system all over the body it will lead to vasoconstriction so if it causes vasoconstriction then what does it do it obviously will decrease the blood flow to the liver correct and parasympathetic nervous system whenever it is uh, stimulated there is vasodilation so parasympathetic nervous system can lead to increase in the blood flow of the liver now parasympathetic system not necessarily increases the liver blood flow but rather it maintains the liver blood flow it does not allow it from getting decreased okay now it is seen that the sympathetic nervous system comes from thoracolumbar outflow so to the liver the thoracic nerves t6 to e t11 will supply the sympathetic supply and the parasympathetic nervous system or the parasympathetic supply to the liver is by the vagus nerve what is the anesthetic implication of this whenever you have a patient who has a liver which is at a high chance of ischemic damage you want to maintain the blood flow to the liver so they say that you should try to blunt the sympathetic responses that happen during surgery like your sympathetic response uh, during the incision or sympathetic response due to pulling or pushing of the peritoneum or sympathetic response at the end of surgery okay all of those things should be avoided so that the liver blood flow is maintained and that's why we recommend that if there is an abdominal surgery that you are going to carry out then you blunt the sympathetic response by putting in a thoracic epidural in those patients 